okay this is room 385 this is the door here to point this out we've got this peephole for the kids and another one for the grown-ups and you do need your key card to turn the lights on there's two switches here one for the hallway one for the bedroom area over here we've got this safe so you scan the barcode here and it will guide you through a treasure hunt or scavenger hunt and then you get the code enter it here and you want to make sure that the code lines up here the kids kind of had it lined up up here but it has to, I don't know if you can see these notches here and then you open it up and they'll have some puzzles in the Lego magazine for the kids Speaking of the kids, they have the room here. Let me I forget. I don't know why the light's not coming on. This is not the studio. Curtain here does not have a door, but it does offer a good amount of privacy. You can turn the light off, Mom. Two different sets of lights here. You got this one. That's overhead. Turn that off. And then you've got the two lamps that are right here on the beds. We'll use that one for now. Top bunk, bottom bunk. And this over here. Can you find these in the sky? I'm gonna have to try to figure out how to turn those stars back on but the uh, the ceiling has some lights that are pretty cool so you've got a Lego plate here the kids put their names up another one on this side TV this is nice but this doesn't really serve a purpose it's just there for decorations I don't know and this actually you turn this on and um, it's not showing up for some reason but it'll have like a galaxy up here. Over here, when we came in, they had some bottles of water here and some Honest Kids juice boxes. This is, um, it's not a Keurig, but pretty similar. Um, there's coffee and tea, the kids had the hot chocolate already. And then we had to figure this out on our own, but if you look inside, you pour the water in here, there's no reservoir. And then you put the, the pot in here. It doesn't hold a whole lot of water. I think maybe enough for just one of these. The fridge was empty. It is pretty cold. I'd say it's a fridge, not a, a cooler. You've got this freezer compartment up here and the thermostat here. There's a good amount of space in here. That's our leftovers from the Dragon's Den. Um, you can fit, I don't know maybe two to-go boxes and a, a couple more bottles and then the door we didn't use i didn't find it very useful you can't really put anything here and not much fits in here but it would be good for cans and here you've got the lego pieces that the kids used for the um for the room lots of trash cans here there's two here here's a safe didn't use it but um, I've got up to my elbow, <laughs> so I, I could probably reach in there pretty deep. Let's see. And you could probably fit some laptops. Yeah, I have a MacBook Pro at home that would fit in here. So pretty, pretty large safe. This is your ice bucket. You can purchase one. Don't take that one home, but you can purchase one for $19.99 plus tax. No closet, but you've got extra blanket and pillow up there. Some spots to hang. And there's a, a good amount of hangers, I guess. We didn't use too many of them. Iron and ironing board. There's a luggage rack back here, which we did not use. We've only been here for two nights. If you were here for longer, you might need a little bit more to hang stuff. All right, so this is the restroom makeup mirror. 
and it does turn on. It's pretty well magnified too. This is the counter area tissue. They did not have any toiletries. Usually you'll see toiletries on, on these trays here. Um, sink is nice. Towel bar here, and this is important to note they've got a stool for the little ones. Another trash can. There's a lot of little kids at this resort. And if you hang up your towels, they will not replace them, but if you throw them on the floor, they will. Again, we're only here for two nights. This is where the towels were when we arrived. Here is the blow dryer, extra toilet paper and tissue. And we're checking out today, so our towels are on the floor. There is a bar to hang your towels here. And then also these hooks. I'll take this off so you can see it. You could probably hang two towels over here. Another important thing to note, the toilet is a two-on-one. So you have this seat for little kids and this one for everyone else. Over here is the shower. So you've got this, this liner on the outside and then this one you tuck in. There's the bar right here inside of the shower, which is pretty cool because the water doesn't reach there. And this you can remove. This is also another cool thing. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. You can adjust the height. You can bring this all the way down if you need to, which is good if you have little kids that like taking showers. And then here are the products they use. I'm not familiar with this brand, but I will say, this is interesting, you just squeeze it and it comes out of the bottom. You can take this off leave it up there and they give you the hair and body cleanser and the conditioner. I actually didn't use my own products um, because those worked out pretty well. And as you can see, I've got textured hair. So that shampoo and conditioner were fine for my hair. Usually hotel shampoo and conditioners don't work well for me, but my hair felt good after using those. Got a mirror here for getting dressed. This is also important. The AC is silent, so you can't hear it, but it does work very well. Each side has a light, USB port, and an outlet. This side of the bed also has this outlet. And the control for the light is right here. Bed is very comfortable. Let's see, so this light switch is for, I don't recall. Let's see this middle one. Okay, middle switch handles this light up here. And then this one over here. Actually, let me close this so we can get a better look. This was my favorite part. This, this switch right here takes care of that up there. I'm gonna leave that on. And as you can see, same situation over here with the lamp and the outlet. Turn this back up. You get two chairs and this table here, six drawers for storage, room phone. This is what the screen looks like. So you've got, you got some good channels here. We didn't have any issues with the TV. We found plenty of stuff to watch. And then hotel info. You can look at the hotel guide here. And then they tell you to scan the QR code. So I guess not. Resort dining. Shows you all the restaurants. We did not go to the Lounge or Skyline Cafe or Bricks. Oddly enough, those are in the Legoland Hotel. Um, the Dragon's Den is here. We liked this place a lot. And that is also where the buffet is. And if you 
can figure it out, we weren't able to. You can go to YouTube, Hulu, Spotify, Pandora, or Facebook on this TV. Again, we couldn't figure that out. These windows do open. Not much, but just enough to get some air in here. And it does get pretty loud. Um, it's a Tuesday and it's raining, so a lot of people are gone. We're here for President's Day weekend, but we've got a good view of, so over here, that stage right there, there was uh, like a magic show, um, some performances. Here, you've got this playground for the really little kids. There's a bin over here that has a bunch of Lego pieces they can build stuff, and there's a table over there, I think, for smaller Lego structures. This is the playground that most of the kids played at. And then over here, you can't really see it too well, but right there is the seating for the movie, or the, yeah, they, they play movies over there. And on the other side, so right there, that's the grill or that little cafe that you can go to and the pool is on the other side of it. And there are these guards here so that you cannot open the window all the way. Or maybe you can if you push that down, but we didn't need to because it's been pretty chilly. But yeah. Of course, there's Lego everything everywhere. And this being, I think it's the Magic Wizard Room. We've got the theming. This was really nice. And again, we like to do room tours at the end because we don't want to show you what it looks like when it's pristine. We want it to look a little lived in. But there's plenty of room. There are four of us here. And we had a great time. And we highly recommend it. Let's see if I can figure this out. One more shot. Uh, guess not. Yeah, you have to wait for like a, a long length. Yeah, that's too bad I couldn't figure that out. But uh, if you come here, just know. You turn that one on and you'll have like a, a cool galaxy up there. Maybe it only works at night or when it's dark outside, who knows? Legoland, California, Carlsbad. What is this? The Castle Hotel, President's Day weekend. Highly recommended, five out of five.